So I started looking at the service academies and the Naval Academy had obviously a great program academically speaking and military opportunities after that, but they also um, had a great soccer program for women as well. So I decided to go to the Naval Academy uh, for those reasons and really ended up loving it there and loving the military. So during my time there I majored in mechanical engineering and then after graduation I had a great opportunity to go to graduate school immediately upon graduation. So I went to Stanford University to get a master's in mechanical engineering and then after that I continued on with my military training. In, in one week I may be doing spacewalk training and so I'm in the MBL in a spacesuit or I'm in the, in the MBL scuba because I'm preparing for a spacewalk. And then a couple days later, I'm in the T-38 doing training uh, with some other astronauts and we're, and we're flying in the T-38. Uh, there's a lot of academics involved in learning the space station and all the different systems. I'm also learning to speak Russian, which is something I never thought I'd have an opportunity to do. So it's a lot of fun. I think so far, definitely the training in the MBL uh, for me has been the most enjoyable. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's really, really hard. It's more difficult than I thought it would be. And so there's a whole mental preparation side to that, but there's a whole physical preparation side to that as well. And that's really directly you know, translatable to going into space and doing a spacewalk or an EVA in space. And so that's kind of the closest training I think that we get to something that we would be doing on orbit. And, and by exploring and learning new things, we learn more not just about space and, and how the universe was created and what our resources are and where we could go, but we also can look back and learn more about Earth and about the place that we live in now and how it's important to take care of Earth. And so by exploring, not only do we get to look forward, but we also can look back and make sure that we're taking care of, of Earth now. So some of our initial training is we got to experience microgravity by getting a ride in the uh, Vomit Comet, as they call it, and it's a big uh, aircraft that will fly parabolas so you can experience, it's about 40 seconds of free fall of zero G. And so I was really excited about this. I had heard about it you know, for, for many years, and so I was really excited to get this opportunity. I thought it was going to be really calm, you know, kind of like being underwater, oh, I'm going to be in zero G, it's going to be very peaceful and great um, and it was great but when they get the top of the parabola and start coming down and you just start kind of floating up 